I'm about to do may not be so apparent as in a real game as it is going to be when we demonstrate this now. For instance, I'm looking for a few good cards, something of relatively high value. In this case, a queen will do. A queen of hearts would be nice. If I could find another one to match it, then I'd have what's known as a pair in the game of poker. There's two. And hopefully, and I want you to see it's not that European thing where we've got face-up cards all over the pack. We actually locate <laughs> cards <laughs> as they need. Now, three of a kind is pretty good, but if we get real greedy, it's possible we can find, hopefully, the fourth and final queen. Thank you. That you know, awesome. thank you very much. <laughs> now, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, uh, you know, I'm not sure if everybody really liked this, but I'm going to make you watch it until you do. Okay, so we're going to do it again. But in, in an effort to save time here, because time is money, we're going to actually attempt to do it instead of one at a time. We can just push them together, come up with all four at once, maybe. Oh. <laughs> like that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, the fact is you can stack four cards for ten hands. Now, in these games that we're talking about, really, you would never stack more than two. There's a version of the game called Texas Hold'em that they play that you only get dealt two cards, and the, and the widow is shared by all the other nine players. Well, but just to prove the point that it can be done, we'll use all four queens. And you can take a look at these if you'd like, uh, Nancy. We've got the t queen of spades and hearts, and diamonds and clubs. Again, she contrives to get them on top of the pack. Now look, and during the course of shuffling, we're going to attempt to get those queens to my hand in a ten-handed game. Now, in fact, just to show off, I think I'll try to do that also in one shuffle. Did you see that? One shuffle. Mm -hmm. Ten hands of poker. Let's see what we got. And again, I want you to see these are going to come right off the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is good to remind your watch, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, that would be all we'd need, really, two queens. Okay, that's all we'd need in the real game. But just to continue, and as I said, to show off that it press the point, drive the point home, it can be done. Let's fill out the rest of the round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And what we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we need a kicker to be honest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got this in there. Nine and ten. Oh, yeah, not a breath here. And again, obviously, you can see Nancy and verify for the rest of the crowd. We do indeed have all four queens. Right. One shuffle, yeah. ten hands apart. Right. Thank you. In the course of shuffling, I actually memorize the location of many, as many cards as I can. And then I pick five that might work well in a game. You think that'll do? Thank you.